Natasha, I remember you coming into my brother's life almost four years ago. And I can honestly say I've never seen him so happy and also in love in his entire life. This girl and I have spent countless weekends together. Trips to the Dells, up north, lots of laps at Skate Express, sleepovers at our grandparents' house, printing off a lot of lyrics to Beyonce and putting them into binders. We would stay up late, plan out our future lives. Our future lives did not include husbands, so I never knew. I didn't know what Tasha's ideal partner would look like. David and I were born brothers, but we have also grown into best friends. We have been through so much together, and I always know that he will be by my side. Even as the older brother, I've often looked up to my little brother, like the way he makes people feel, how easygoing he is, and him being able to fix and do almost anything. We have gathered together in the presence of God to witness and bless the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. David, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together out of reverence for Christ? Will you love her, honor her, comfort and keep her in sickness and in health? Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. The bond, the covenant of marriage should be strong, and through the presence and power of God, it will withstand all. Natasha and David, again, it has been my joy to be with you, to work with you in this celebration of coming to this one day, but it's not just this one day, it's this one lifetime together of God's blessing coming to you. The power of love does conquer. In the name of God, I, David, take you, Natasha, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. In the name of God, I, Natasha, take you, David, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death. According to God's holy word, this is my solemn vow. You may kiss the bride. For David and I, our cousin Joey definitely is somebody that we wish was here tonight. Our senior year of high school, Joey and I had our art class together in which the assignment was to pick a quote and to paint that quote into a mural. So from Joey and I, I would like to recite that quote to David and Tasha. May the wind always be at your back and the sun upon your face, and may the winds of destiny carry you off to dance with the stars. I'm so excited to be a part of this incredibly huge milestone and all the future milestones to come. Cheers!